Hi, I'm Simon, this is Paul from KPS Hunters, and tonight I'm at one of the best ratting permissions I've ever shot at, and one of many that KPS Hunters use. Tonight we're going to be showing you and demonstrating some of the new night vision equipment from a leading company called Nightsight. This is a transfer station situated on 15 acres of land. The rubbish that comes in here comprises of household waste, domestic waste, and at night brings the rats out. In about half hour time, when the light fades, this place will be crawling. Tonight, some of the equipment we're going to be using, the first bit is the uh, already established Nightsight NS200 infrared night vision. Revolutionary on the market because what it did, it brought night vision down at an affordable price. This unit has been out now for about two years, it's well established and we'll be using it tonight. And on the area that we'll be using it around here is absolutely perfectly suited for this environment. The second piece of equipment I want to talk about is the eagerly awaited for night sight spotter. Now I've had a personal interest in this since I heard about its development some months ago and we're very honoured to have one here to try. I think in this uh, situation, on these premises, this thing is going to be in its element and hopefully we'll show you some footage later on. What is it about and how does it work? Its technology is updated from the NS200. This unit sees 400 metres, allows you to see 400 metres. I've tried this at home and I can guarantee you it does see that far. How does it work? On the back of the unit we have an LCD viewing screen. The handle is where the batteries are housed. Most people looking at this think well it's quite heavy. Actually it's very light. It's designed to be held with two hands and used by both hands. So at the front of the unit then we have the IR LED generators, five of them, and here we have at the centre a very uh, sensitive telephoto lens. On the underside of the unit we have a zoom up to 20 times and the focusing of the zoom on the other lever here. You hold the unit in front of you. This button here is a three-way toggle. Centre or off also allows the unit to be charged. It then has two modes. Pushing the toggle switch up puts the unit into daytime mode. No difference between day and night. All it does is it stops the IR working. When you turn the unit into the bottom, flicking it down, you can then activate the infrared unit on this uh, handpiece. The switch on the left hand side is a three way toggle switch. In the middle that's IR full power, down is IR low power and up is IR medium power. I doubt very much tonight whether we'll use this on high power. It really is that powerful. On the top of the unit here we have the charging input. On the bottom of the unit we have two uh, inputs here. One is for external power. If you plug an external battery in there, it obviously emits using the handheld batteries. Using the handheld batteries, you get up to probably in the region of about two to four hours use with an external battery obviously longer. The top, uh, top uh, insert there is for recording and this is what I'll be using tonight. So I'm gonna be using this, that with KPS Hunters. We're gonna do some videoing. Hopefully we'll get some good results and you can just see how good their equipment is. This is a very quick demonstration of how good this unit is. To my left, about 150 metres down there, is a garage. The camera you're actually seeing through now is on night vision, and to the naked eye, all I can see is black. I can't see a thing. So I'm just going to show you how powerful the infrared is on this unit. First of all, put it down and get the infrared on. You can actually see in the trees there how bright the IR is. So I'm now going to pan it down to the uh, garage which is over there. Now I'm going to zoom in. Just give me a minute to focus it. There's the focus and there we are seeing right inside that garage. And that is quite unbelievable. I'm using the Sony Handycam with a night shot mode on it. Obviously I'm pointing down like so I said 150 metres away. Can't see nothing. I'll just go to the night spotter. That is crystal.
Well, it's been the end of an absolutely fantastic evening. It's about half past uh, midnight here. It's got a little bit cold and a little bit uh, damp now, so we've decided to call it an evening. Um, personally, from uh, my perspective, this thing has absolutely sold itself to me, and I hope to a lot of people that have uh, seen this video tonight. Um, trying our best to do some uh, videos uh, through the night site where you can actually see us doing some uh, controlled uh, vermin kills and uh, there's a good half a dozen through there and we've done 10 or so through the uh, NS200. Paul, I think you'll agree that night sight changes the element of hunting at night without this kit, it makes it a different it, ball game. It, well, it was an amazing piece of technology but I would like to say a big thank you to Night Sight for lending it to Sai, an associate of KPS Hunters who uh, kindly brought it down for us to try on our rating permission tonight and it really uh, amazing absolutely amazing so I was spotting for me spotting for Stu I mean it picked the rats out absolutely crystal clear and I just can't praise it enough you know I think last um, last week or the week before we did um, a little shoot on uh, thermal imaging and uh, we'll be doing some more on thermal imaging but when of course you take into account the cost of the thermal imaging unit compared to this, and this is about 60% um, cheaper, it really does come into its own right. I would just have to say one other thing about this unit, the battery lasted pretty much throughout the entire evening, and as I said earlier on, we had to have it on the lowest setting because it really is that powerful. Guys, if you haven't seen it, do go and see it down at your local stockist. It's called the Night Sight Spotter. It really is a top piece of kit. Thank you very much to uh, Jake Corwell at Nightside, as Paul said, and um, check it out. It really is worth doing.